some areas within the Wejagbawe municipality are designated earthquake prone areas. Again, the occasional spillage of the Wager Dam, which has become an annual ritual, coupled with the annual rains, which sometimes flood certain areas within the municipality, has become a constant worry to the Assembly. To address this twin problem, the Assembly has set up a six new emergency response centers, which are also connected to the various community information centers across the municipality to disseminate timely information in the event of a disaster. Dedicated numbers will also be provided to residents to call in case of emergencies. Here is the presiding member for the Wejagbawe Municipal Assembly, Andy Opong Amwako, speaking to City News about the project. You know, normally when you're giving information, it's not just like any information, but the information must be timely. And that is why this um, project comes into to help solve the problem, so that we can give timely information to our people. Anytime you encounter a problem, you quickly call the, the control room, and then the control room will then connect um, the, or relay the information to the various uh, information centers to also send um, the information out to the larger um, number of people. So we have um, a detector over there that signals um, um, NADMO and other key stakeholders of the municipality whenever there's a, an earth tremor or earthquake. The project, according to a senior research fellow with the Institute of Environment and Sanitation Studies at the University of Ghana, is funded by the University of Cape Town, South Africa, Kenyatta University in Kenya, and the University of Manchester in the UK. Dr. Ted Yemuanan, the research fellow, believes the project will help enhance communication for effective response during disasters. Previously, either somebody hears an announcement on impending disaster from radio. So it means that if you don't have a radio, then you are out. So we are using these um, communication, community information centers to enhance communication. So you have a radio room that's operated by NADMO at the, at the assembly. And the, there's, there's, there's equipment in place to get the information as it comes, real time. Municipal Coordinating Director for the Assembly, Mercy Kwanza, urged prospective residents to avoid encroaching areas that are prone to disasters. You wonder why somebody will even build so close to the river. And there are some areas, when you go to some of the communities that almost always get flooded, we realize that those areas were earmarked for other Ramsia sites or the uh, wet areas. But they built on those areas. And for the water, you cannot contain it. So what we tell those even prospective uh, people who are trying to build, please make sure you build where you are supposed to build.